The workers I talk to almost on a, on a daily or a weekly basis are looking at the crisis and they can see that they're paying the price for it. Uh, you know, unemployment has increased by 34 million uh, globally since the crisis began. Uh, the, uh, as taxpayers, they're now being asked to uh, have cuts in public expenditure, increases in taxes to bail out the banks uh, to the tune of several trillion dollars globally. Uh, they're seeing pressure on their pensions uh, and workers, uh, workers in the South are being told that uh, the Millennium Development Goals now may no longer be relevant or matched uh, over a time period because uh, resources are not available. So uh, the feeling uh, would be that it's very much other groups in society, uh, including the groups that they see as causing the crisis, uh, which are getting the bailout uh, and, and not workers. So I think that's leading to a, a very um, unstable uh, political environment in the future where, where people may be reacting in, 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 in uh, ways which react popularly against, uh, against establishments and elites. And that, that doesn't lead to any particular uh, political result. It's, to some extent, it's against governments in power. But I think it creates a problem. And we've got to find, um, I think, a new consensus around... Uh, sort of social contract for the future to get out of, get out of this mess. And uh, that's, much, that's very different from, from bailouts. I mean, I think there's a, there's a process of steady change, structural change um, <clears throat> over the years, which, which has, to be, uh, uh, has to be maintained. But the, the question is, uh, you know, many profitable firms, many groups of workers through no fault of their own have lost employment, lost their jobs. I think that's the real, the real core of the, the situation at the moment. Um, beyond that, uh, there was a crisis before this crisis. The um, income inequality had risen uh, in uh, virtually all of the industrialized countries uh, for which there are comparable statistics. There had been 20 years in which the, the share of income had shifted quite significantly from, uh, from wages to profits. Uh, fell from you know, 65 to 70 percent of GDP in the early 1980s down to uh, around 65, uh, in some cases 68 percent now. So that distributional issue, which I think we also feel was to some extent at the heart of the crisis, um, needs to be tackled and addressed in the sort of models and the sort of thinking uh, as to the, uh, the economic model which, which is actually comes out of this crisis in the future. So there's a whole set of really big issues there which I think are much greater than uh, bailouts for, for individual groups of workers.